YouTube, what's going on? We'd be coming back with another one. Let's get it. Today we're gonna to talk about joint bank accounts. I've been seeing this around social media a lot lately. You know, about people's opinion about joint bank accounts. So I'm gonna get my opinion. So it's a fun topic. Let's get into it. You know, a lot of married couples got the joint bank accounts, but before I get into it, please watch the entire video. And if you like the video, subscribe to the channel to receive more content like this and just content about life. But yeah, joint bank accounts. It's a fun topic. I've been seeing it around social media a lot lately, especially in the last couple of weeks. So my opinion is this, a joint bank account, you married, you have your partner. Whole point of a joint bank account, right, is to see the account grow. Right, just being real, just being honest. You want to see the account grow, joint bank account. Only way you can actually see that is if it's, in my opinion, if it's at least somebody's coming forty percent to your sixty percent. If it's not, you know, you know, it's usually not fifty fifty, but you at least got to come fifty five forty five, sixty forty. I may stretch it 65-35. I, I may stretch it there, but to at least see some growth in the account. If you come in, okay, I don't care who's the breadwinner in the relationship, but if if one is if one person is coming 90% or you know, they put in, they come and have 90% of the income, the other person has 10% of the income. What's the point of a joint bank account? Or even if it's 80-20. Or even 70-30. That's why I said 65-35 is kind of pushing it. But even 70-30, over time, you don't really see... You will see growth, but it's it's more like... I say 90-10, it's more like you're taking care of somebody. What's the point? Married or not, like 90-10, what's the point of us having a joint bank account? Like, I'm taking care of you. Or you taking care of me, like whoever is the breadwinner. That's how I look at that. That was my opinion as far as like, if it's not 60-40, I even say 65-35, that's, that's where I'm cutting it off at. But if it's not 60-40, 55-45, what's the point? What's the point of even having a joint, joint bank account at that point? What's the point of even having a joint bank account. That's just my opinion. Everybody, you know, has their different spin on it, different opinion, but that's my thing, like, and I wouldn't even feel right, like, and this is the thing, though, this is the, this is the catch. You're gonna, you'll catch somebody in a relationship, they were only bringing in, like I say, 10% of the income, 20% of the income, that up, and I'm talking and making the up, their partners making some good money too. Their partners bringing in 80, 90 percent. Hell, if I'm only bringing in 10, 20 percent, shit, I want to join, have a joint bank account too. Cause shit, I'm not really bringing in nothing. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So, what's his money is now our money. That's how I would look at it. Like, if I'm only bringing in 10, 20 percent, hell, I would want a joint bank account too. Let's just be real. It's all about who's the like. Who's on the short end of the stick, I guess. As far as income, who, who's bringing in the income. But the whole point of a joint bank account is for us to, is for us to see the account grow. To say, oh yeah, we bringing in some money. Yeah, look at the account, it's growing. That's the whole point of a, in my opinion, of, of a joint bank account. If we put both of our chips in together, you know, yeah, that's my opinion on that as far as a, a joint bank account. Everybody has a, you know, may have a different philosophy about, you know, what they think. You know, some people might say, we married, so what's his is mine, what's hers is mine. You know, some people are going to have that that mindset. You know, once you have that bond and you have that connection, I guess, whatever you want to call it, people are going to say, yeah, that's that's ours, that's ours. You know, some people might think like that. But if I'm bringing in 80, 90% of the income, what's the point? I'm already taking care of you anyway, basically. That's how I look at that. My pain. That's just my pain. That's how I look at that. If I'm already bringing in 80, 90% of the income, 
what's the pin? So you can put your little few chips in, and then if shit hit the fan, you can say, shit, I was I was contributing too. I was doing this and this and that. But when you was only putting in 10%, 20%, if shit hit the fan, nah, ain't no point. Keep that. Keep that. Keep that little change. You know what I'm saying? No hard feelings, but keep that. You only putting in 10, 20%. I'm, I'm 80, 90% or you 80, 90%. I would feel like, yeah, you keep that. You keep that. Just being real. Because when shit hit the fan, you're going to be trying to talk about that little, that little shit, that little stuff you did. Like, yeah, remember I, I was giving this. I was putting in my part. This is it. But it was, you wasn't in, we wasn't seeing nothing from your side. So that's my opinion on the joint bank account. It was a fun topic. It was a funny topic, I guess you could say. You know. But it's not you. It's not funny when you on the other end, when you the breadwinner, and then if shit, like I say, shit hit the fan, and they want to talk about the little shit that they put in, the little money that they put in, that didn't really do anything really to the account. You know, so. Either gender could be the breadwinner. That's why I didn't want to say he or she or because it, you know, or that's why, yeah, that's why I didn't want to say like he or she because any, any, either of the gender could be the breadwinner. So, breadwinner. So, that's just my philosophy and my thought process on it. But yeah, joint bank account. That's what we talked about, me and my friends today. So, I just said, I'll do a video on it today. Why not talk about it, get people's perspective? See what their opinion is on it. But that was my opinion. Woody P coming with another one. Let's get it. Comment, like, subscribe. Let's get it. Consistent, baby. Every day I'm coming with it. Let's go.